Hello, I'm MPX Slicker, I'm Gorkin Bank's video. Today I figured I'd try something just a little bit different because so many people are playing the brand new version of Minecraft for the very first time, uh, whether it's on their Windows 10 device, their phone, or even their Xbox One, a lot of people are trying a brand new version of Minecraft which doesn't quite work like the old versions. And given that there's also a lot of people who are playing Minecraft for the very first time, it is December after all, I think they'd make today's video and teach you nine really essential Minecraft skills, how to do them on this new Minecraft, you know, some of this transfers over to other editions too, but then teach you how to do them on this new Minecraft and teach you hopefully how to, you know, save some time, maybe how to thrive it better and perhaps even how to survive a little bit better. So hopefully you do all enjoy this video. You can like it if you do like it because it helps out the channel a lot and let's know you do enjoy this whole video. But with that said, let's get straight into it and let's start by talking about the very first skill. By the way, uh, let me mention that as soon as I start, we're going to turn on a timer. So in case there's someone in the comments being like, oh, 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 it's slightly more than that. No, the 10 minutes is going to start exactly now. So with that said, let's get straight into it and let's start by talking about the, uh, you know, the very first Minecraft skill I think you should learn and that is how to make a sword or a pickaxe or any really, you know, like panic tool really really quickly so on the brand new version the crafting is the same if you're on the pc but if you're a console guy or a phone guy it's really really tricky knowing how to use this like thing and a lot of people spend like a solid like 20 seconds making a sword or even 10 seconds which is just 10 seconds too many when you see someone charging at you from let's say those stairs over there so what you want to do is you want to know this process really quickly here's it in slow motion you want to make two stacks of wood if you've only got wooden you of course uh, then you want to go up to your crafting table which is two tabs to the right you want to make the crafting table and one stack of sticks and then you want to place this down really quickly scroll one tab to the left and there's your sword and there is your pickaxe so again we actually <laughs> if, if you have the uh, the extra thing left over make free stacks if you want to have the pickaxe as well but my point being is you can make it that quickly and that means you can make it again that was like you know eight seconds if we're doing things slow but here's how you do things really quickly just do all those actions but know how to make them really really quickly because again it's a skill really worth learning so let's show you that right now we see someone over there and we're like oh no i know no, i need a sword okay let's teach you how to do this you want to go out you want to make a bunch of this then we'll go to the crafting table place that down quickly go to the sticks then go left over and make yourself a sword, boom, 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 they die, hopefully, or at least you have a fighting chance, whereas before you were crafting when they came to hit you, and that's not a good thing at all. So, make a crafting table really quickly. The crafting is just weird on this version. Uh, a lot of people help by just going over to here, but I find learning to, learning to use the tabs is a lot more useful because when you craft something, it actually changes where everything is, which just, it's not useful at all, whereas these tabs, at least things are consistently like, oh, it's on the far left, it's on two to the left, or and this one's on the far left. Knowing where those places are can really help you defend yourself. So, let's move on to the second tip here, which is actually going to be how you can, uh, you know, actually uh, uh, you, you save yourself from uh, being attacked from someone who is at a far distance. So let's say you want to attack someone over there or you want to get over there. Basically, if you want to attack something in the distance or get a chest, let's say, if you want to, uh, so let's say we've got all, all those pigs over there, you can't see them. Uh, let's say you want to attack all of the pigs and then you want to get back safely or you want to have an insurance policy in case it doesn't go well. Then one of my favorite tips here is to throw an ender pearl, then immediately look in the sky and throw one up there. This means that in about two seconds, you'll get back. So let's say that llama is my target. We can kill the llama, we can do that sort of stuff, and then because things get scary, guess what, we're back. They have no idea how I just came in there, then got out, and even if you don't kill them in that, you know, two seconds you have, like llamas are a lot easier to kill than people, then you at very least can harass them, and they have no idea where you came from, they're scared, they're on edge, and that's a really good, like, psychological technique in PvP. So there you go, a lot of people ask for PvP tips, there's a really, really useful one, especially for survival, especially for Sky Wars, where there's all the islands, and, like, island combat can be scary. Uh, throw one, then throw one up, and this means you can also, like, do something like open a chest, so, uh, this one's a really silly example, but use the anvil, then come back, right? Okay, well, we messed that one up. But you can use it to, like, get a chest and then also throw a thing up in the air if you do things just right. So there you go. Uh, fun fact. That was, like, a second off time. It's obviously a lot harder now that they've uh, obviously removed the... Uh... <laughs> oh, we teleported all the way over here. It's a lot harder now they've removed um, the ability uh, for you to uh, spam them like you could before. But it means that as long as you're going somewhere that's at least, you know, that half second away, you can do things quickly. Let's move on to the third tip now. And the third tip is going to be how you can climb up a wall really quickly. A lot of people mess this one up. We we're going short on the time because they think like, okay, we need to go up, uh, you know, four blocks next to a wall or something. Let's just stack ourselves up. So here is the standard way of doing things. Stack, 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 and then jump. But if you're in a rush, if someone's chasing you, that is really just not a useful technique. So what do I recommend instead? I recommend being able to do it while walking up the wall. So you can do things like this, as you can see. Okay, well, that's actually a mess up. Uh, you can do things like this. Here's the slow motion version. And as you can see, stack myself up the wall. But let me show you a better example that it's really, really tricky to pull off. But if you pl place yourself at the wall and you do things just right you actually can as you can see right here you can climb up the wall okay well I'm, I'm placing just on the bottom there but you can actually climb up the wall as you go if you're really good at this i'll show you on screen me doing it with this exact wall but basically if you look down if you look to the right and if you look towards the wall very slightly then these sorts of things will just stack up and you'll get there eventually again uh i, I as you can see like my skill is really on the old versions this one and i can pick it up every now and then it takes like a few seconds but guess what we've got 10 minutes so for now just keep that in mind that's how i did it that's how you can do it you want to look into the wall you want to look down and you want to find the exact right angle and just bear in mind the same angle is not 
the one you had before. And if you do this while you're in a chase, the guy will not know how to follow you and you will get away from them, which is a good way to save your life one more time. So uh, moving on to the uh, next pro tip here, the fourth pro tip is actually going to be how you can mine diamonds in Minecraft. So uh, yeah, the, uh, the best level for mining, you'll run mine diamond mining on this version. Uh, you'll find about 25% less diamonds than you would otherwise. So again, there's slightly less diamonds available. So you might think, well, that's terrible. Uh, but actually, you know, if you know how to mine diamonds, then you can kind of take advantage of it anyway. So yeah, how do you mine diamonds in this version? You want to go down to layer uh, 11. So a lot of people recommend 10, a lot of people recommend 12. Uh, 11 is where you can best uh, mine diamonds. Again, that's uh, it's, it's, it's pretty much equivalent on like anywhere between 11 and 13. But if you want to find 11, then you can use coordinates, but there are cheats. So if you don't want to use a cheat, again, here's 11 right here. Then what you want to do is you want to mine down to bedrock. And bedrock is at one where there's a solid layer. And then at two, it's a mostly layer. Then at three, you'll find some. And at four, you'll find like the tiniest bit. So you want to mine down all the way down to bedrock. So as you can see like this, uh, mine down like that. So mine all the way four blocks down. And then from there, we can kind of correct ourselves. So, uh, okay, once we reach bedrock, it should be layer four. Okay, so there you can see bedrocks that we're on five, but the bedrocks on four. So you want to go six blocks up from bedrock. So one block, two block, three block, four block, five block, six block, or you can go, you know, seven blocks or eight blocks if you want to go to 12 or 13. But that's how you measure your height in this version. Without coordinates, you can still do that. I, I really don't like that. I think coordinates will eventually be in the game. But until there's coordinates, that's how you do things. You measure up from bedrock. And if you mine this way, this is the most efficient point in the game to be mining diamonds, which means I will find diamonds within about five or 10 minutes max if I start mining this way. But guess what? The whole video is 10 minutes. I don't have uh, 10 minutes to mine diamonds. So instead, we're going to head back up this little way if we can fire this ender pearl right at least. And we're going to talk about, okay, that's terrifying. I think I just threw that purely up. Okay, yeah, that's a big mistake right there. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going <laughs> to uh, get ourselves out of it with our... Oh, no, we, okay, yeah, we got six ladders, which is just enough to get out, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and we're going to talk... Okay, wait, let's, let's do this. I can do this. There we go. We're going to move on next to talk about uh, the next pro tip, which is to do with when you take hunger in uh, when you take uh, hunger damage in Minecraft. So uh, or when you have a hunger bar that needs to be filled in general, because uh, yeah, a lot of people uh, make the mistake of thinking like I've got food on me, I'll eat the food in any order. It doesn't really matter. And the truth is, the order you eat food in Minecraft really, really does matter. So I'll hopefully show you this later. But uh, the be the best thing to keep in mind is that there's a secret hunger bar with everything a uh, single food attached. So the best foods are the meats, uh, followed by the golden carrot. The golden carrot is the very best food in the game. Then it's the meats. Then there's like rabbit stew there and basically there's really good food and there's really bad food If you're eating baked potato, it's good to get your hunger bar up But it doesn't get your saturation up So if you're gonna go into a fight or you're doing something a little bit dangerous Then always eat your golden carrot last and the best way to prove this is the fact that I've had to eat like twice in this video Right, whereas if we get our hunger down and then we eat golden carrot We won't have to eat for the remainder of the video So I'll do that in a little bit, but keep in mind that hunger little pro tip. It's really useful next up uh, I'm gonna be giving you a pro tip on how you can place uh, quickly in front of you again on this version A lot of people don't realize this it's a pocket edition holdover but it's so, so useful. You can actually walk at walking speed and place in the middle of nothing because of the forward placing, uh, you know, uh, feature. So you can place like this. And as you can see, I'm, I'm able to place like that. And a lot of people do it like walk uh, forward slowly and they crouch while they do this. But this actually removes the benefit of this version because it means you can do it the same speed as you could anywhere else. What you want to do instead is walk at normal walking speed and just spam uh, the block in front of you. And again, as long as you do the uh, angle in front of you just right, you actually will be able to build a bridge in the middle of nowhere perfectly every single time. This is two uses, both PvP and skywalls and stuff, but also it comes in useful in the nether. So again, about 35 degrees in front of you, you want to be placed, so you're like this or something like that, so as you can see. And then what you want to do is you want to just keep placing, and then you want to walk forward at normal speed. Crouching is obviously the safe way to do it, but if you can uh, learn to place like this and you don't have lag, then you'll be able to do things just fine. So yeah, no idea where it's low in the frame rate, but let's move on to the next pro tip, the next thing that you can do in Minecraft, and that is the ability to make nether portals really, really quickly. So all you need to do to make a nether portal in, uh, you know, without using a diamond pickaxe, that is, is to find, oh, there we go. So our hunger's gone down. So we're going to eat our bread first. Always eat your low uh, quality food uh, first and then eat one of your high quality food. There's the end of the saturation pro tip. So next minute, let's up. Let's teach you how to make an F portal in, uh, you know, really, really quickly without using a diamond pickaxe. What you want to do is you want to have, uh, you know, two buckets of water ready. So we're going to do that right now. Uh, two buckets of water just like this. You want to dig yourself like a permanent source so you can always have access to them. So like that. And then, uh, you know, the, the square thing, permanent water source. There you go. No pro tip for you all. And uh, then what you want to do is you want to grab yourself some lava, grab yourself some water, and then you place the water down, and then you place down the lava. So we'll do that again. And we'll just keep on going consistently back and forth. And you can make yourself a never portal like this really, really quickly. So again, you're seeing how it's taking me just a few seconds each time. We can make an entire never portal in just a few seconds using this tip. And then obviously you just need to have a flint still to light it up. And there you go. That's how you do this. So uh, yeah, that's how you make a never portal really quickly. I'll show you all of the sides, at least like a little bit off them. So you can see how 
this whole thing works. I obviously won't light it and do the whole finish thing, but I think it's really wonderful that you can make a nether portal using this technique, and a lot of people just don't realize it's a thing you can do, even though it will save you a lot of time. So for these blocks, you wanna have a block underneath the top ones, and then that's how you place the ones on top. So you wanna place like, uh, <laughs> it's gonna be especially tricky here, but place some water, place some lava, and there you go. We've got ourselves some obsidian. So there you go, that's how you make a nether portal in less than uh, like two minutes. And finally, we have one more tip we've gotta get across in the next 20, uh, 35 seconds it seems, and that is how you can survive full damage in this version. So as always, uh, a pro tip from always is to use water, but I find the water pro tip is not quite so useful here. So if you're taking full damage, uh, place water just before you hit the ground and you will survive. Um, but the pro tip on this version is to use both water, which still does effectively work. So you, uh, you, you're about to fall, you land, you land in water, it's fine. But you can also use ladders. So again, I'll show you a really quick example right here. And this is how you can do uh, the, the ladder kind of thing. You jump up here and you land on the uh, ladder. So we jump from here, we jump with the ladder. You want to uh, land the block and run the ladder. Let's say do that. Finally, uh, let's talk about the final little thing here, which is that you can actually fly faster with the Elytra if you fly consistently downwards at less than a 45 degree angle. So you want to fly downwards at the start and then you want to finish up flying just in front of you for 30 degrees. So there you go, just like this. This is where you want to go when you're consistently flying and then you'll keep your speed going because go you consistently gain speed when you go downwards and when you fly near horizontally, like, you know, just in front of you, that's how you maintain your current speed and you'll only fall the slower. So there you go. There is, 10 mine uh, there is nine Minecraft skills that you can learn in less than 10 minutes. It was actually 10 minutes and uh, it looks like it was 10 minutes and like uh, 30 seconds by the time it was done. But that is a fun little fact about Minecraft. Uh, there are some fun little my useful Minecraft skills that you might not have known. I think this was a fun uh, video because it encouraged me to like go through them quickly. Because uh, you know, some people are like, so cat, you know, you go on forever, forever about everything. There you go. There is the opposite of that. Let me know what you think because I had a lot of fun doing this. I I'm going to probably try out something like this again in the future. But I'd love to know your opinion regardless in the comments down below. Like this if you did like it, share if you really liked it. Let me know which of these skills are useful ones to you, which ones you did learn more about, or which ones you figure like, you know, I wish Toycat just spent some more time in that. Um, and uh, besides that, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it, and I hope you had a lot of fun watching it, because I'm going to see you all in the next one. Have a nice day, everybody. Goodbye.